first, I don't really have a lot to say. Um, just because tomorrow is Thanksgiving, uh, we're not going to have the privilege, like every Thanksgiving, to have at least four or five plates. Um, but anyway, I just like to give thanks. Thanks to the media, thanks to Peter Nelson, HBO, main event. Um, I thank my family, uh, my two kids, uh, my mom, and um, and I thank for the opportunity once again to showcase my talent on HBO. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank the man, the man up above. Without him, nothing possible. Thank, uh, thanks to the media, uh, HBO, of course, Golden Boy. Uh, Crush promotion for giving us the opportunity to uh, showcase again in HBO. I want to thank our boys team for taking the fight. Um, it's going to be a perfect fight. Uh, two good, aggressive, strong fighters. Um, great height for each other. Um, and they both need this fight. Uh, we know we lose. You know, we got to sit for a while. He loses. He has to sit for a while. Um, the best thing for me is that I know that our boys going to bring the best out of Jason. Loma is a special talent. Uh, once they come maybe every 10 years. Um, we <clears throat> fought Loma when no one wanted to fight. We re relinquished our WBA title to take that fight. It says a lot about this young man. Um, Russell Pels, I thank you for always believing in us. And, um, and pretty much I just want to say that uh, uh, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, I know that you're missing your family like we are. And for the fighters in general, like Jason said, they cannot have three meals and enjoy the family and the Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, this sport's very uh, demanding with time. So uh, thank you uh, for taking your time. Good afternoon, everyone. It's gonna be tough uh, going against Russell Peltz. Wow. Huh? And Jolene on the same night. <laughs> but I want to thank Peter. Uh, everybody's thanking everybody. And, and of course, thanks to the media, thanks to the fans, thanks to Madison Square Garden. It's a privilege to be here. But Peter, thank you for not focusing on these pretty records, for focusing on fighters that want to fight and bringing them back even after a loss or two because these are fighters that want to fight. Now, I got to disagree with Russell on one thing. In this fight, the super featherweights, they have a lot in common to the main event. All four fighters know what a loss and a victory means for their career. And in all four cases, neither can afford a loss. In one case, they'll be fighting, the winner goes on to fight for a world title. But in the main event, the winner will walk out as the world champion. You all know Gamboa, you know what he can do. He's a special fighter. It's all about preparing. How much does he want it? He brought in one of the most talented trainers in boxing, Profe, and they put in the hard work. He is more than ready. Let me introduce Yorkis Gamboa and Jesse to say a couple words, thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, number one is thank you for the time for the new opportunity to try again in SBO and my school life. So, quiero darle gracias a Dios for the opportunity nuevamente de estar in una, en una cartelera de SBO en my school life. Gracias a SBO, Teddy Nelson, eh, Golden Boy, y toda la gente fanático que, que conocí y nos están mirando en el día de hoy, y a todos los presentes. What an event this weekend. I know everyone's uh, thanking, and, and this is the right time to thank um, HBO, Peter. Thank you for believing in, in Yuri and giving him another opportunity. To Golden Boy um, for bringing Gamboa back. Uh, the guy has fought four times this year, when previously, in the previous four or five years, I think he fought four times. <laughs> so thank you, Golden Boy. Uh, you guys are going to see. Uh, Great fight this weekend, and Gamboa is definitely ready. We got one of the best in the world, Pedro Roque. <laughs>
and we thank him for, for taking on the challenge. And uh, Gamboa has put a lot of work, and you guys will see this weekend. Thank you again to everybody, and, and thank God for this opportunity.